Good morning! Good morning everyone! How are you today? I hope you're doing well! It's math class and today we don't have a new lesson. You know why? Because we're going to revise what we have learned in the previous weeks. I want you everyone to listen carefully and pay attention. Um, I want you to get a full mark, okay everyone? I know you can do it, you're so smart and Miss Muna is always so proud of you. Okay everyone, so as I said to you so far, today we're going to revise and revision is very important because revision will help you to remember what you, uh, what you have learned before. Okay, so before starting our revision, I want you to grab some papers and pencils and to read the day and date. So, today is Monday, May 4th, 2020. Okay, so what we are going to revise, um, you know, is very important. So, the first lesson that we are going to revise is uh, take a survey. And the other lesson is make picture graphs. So, lesson one, take a survey. So, when you take a survey, you ask a question, right? And then you record the answers. And the answers are, or we can call them, data. And the data is information. So, everyone, remember, uh, when you take a survey, it means you're going to ask um, let me say 10 people, let's say the same question and then you would record their answers to see for example uh, What is their favorite food or what is their favorite? Uh, sport and, and so on For example, you want to make a party in your house and you want your mom to bring snacks and you don't know what snacks to bring so what you're going to do is to make a survey and you ask your friends what is their favorite snack you will record their answers and the answers here let me say uh, we can call it the data and after that you can decide which snack is or uh, what do most of your friends vote for so to decide which snack you're gonna get you will draw that tally chart okay everyone this is the tally chart and here you're going to write the favorite or you're going to write the snacks for example uh, let me write um, cookies you write only letter C cookies and marshmallow and biscuit okay everyone so you will ask your friends now about their favorite Snacks. So you will go, let's say, to Ali and you will ask Ali, Ali, do you like biscuit or marshmallow or cookies? He will say, I like cookies. So you're going to draw one tally mark. You will go to uh, Maryam and Maryam, she will say, I like, uh, for example, marshmallow. So you're going to draw here one tally mark. Azari, she will say, I like biscuits. So you are going to draw here a tally mark and then Yusuf will say I like marshmallow so you are going to add one tally mark over here and Saeed will say I like biscuit so you are going to draw one tally mark over here Marwa she will say I like marshmallow so one more tally mark here and Sultan will say I like marshmallow so one tally mark here and Omar also chose cookies so we're gonna draw one tally mark here and Amna chose marshmallow so one tally mark over here so now you can decide which snack you're gonna get because most of your friends chose marshmallow right 
So we call these here, the tally marks, we call them or so everyone, this is the data and you follow the data or you collect information and then you record them over here. So how you will know that most of them chose Marshmallow because you recorded everything here. This is your data and you are following your data, okay? So everyone, here what you are going to do is to count the tally marks. So look at the tally chart. Here, the tally chart is about type of book, okay? So everyone, two students choose or chose a scary book and eight students chose funny book and five students chose five sports book. So you can get the information or the data from the tally chart. Okay. Here we go, question number two. Ask 10 students their favorite picnic food. Use tally marks to record the data. Use the data in the chart to answer the questions. Okay, everyone. So. Here's the tally chart, and as you can see, um, the, the tally chart is about picnic food. So as you can see, here is hamburger, hot dog, and chicken. So let's answer these questions together. The tally chart will help you to answer these questions because, as you can see, the data is over here. So the first question is, how many students like hamburgers? So we're going to look over here and then we count the tally marks and see how many students voted for hamburgers. So the total is four. So we're going to write four over here. Now, how many students like hot dogs? So we're going to look at the tally chart, find the hot dog. Well done, it's over here. So we're going to count the tally marks. How many tally marks can you see? Five. Okay, five tally marks. So you're going to write them over here. And what is the favorite picnic food? You're going to look over here and you will see uh, which uh, picnic food got the most votes. As you can see, here is four, five and two. So the big number is here and most students voted for hot dog. Finally, what is the least favorite picnic food? Chicken. Chicken. To find the answer, what you are going to do is to look at the numbers and to see where is the smallest number. So as you can see here, only two students voted for chicken. So you're going to write chicken. So everyone, what I want you to do is to look at the tally chart and take all the information from it. So everyone here, question number three. Okay, it's a problem and we need to solve it. If we have a problem, we need to read carefully and uh, find what do we need to know and what do we need to solve, okay? So everyone, students took a survey for fun Friday activities. Seven students want a picnic, okay? And five students want to go to the zoo. Eight students want to watch a movie. So which part shows these results? Circle the correct chart. So everyone, what you are going to do is to circle the important information or the things that you need to know. So here, everyone, seven students want a picnic and five students want to go to the zoo and eight students want to watch a movie. So you're going to look at uh, the charts over here, the tally charts, and decide which uh, tally mark is correct and uh, shows the correct data. 
So everyone here, seven students want a picnic. So we're going to count here how many tally um, marks do you see? I see six. Six. And it's written here seven. So this is not correct. And five students want to go to the zoo. So how many here? How many tally marks do we see? Five. Five. Okay. And finally, sorry. And finally, uh, eight students want to watch a movie. So how many students here? Or sorry, how many tally marks do you see here? Three. Three. So this is wrong, right? Okay. So let's check the other one. So this is wrong. We're not gonna follow it. So here, seven students want. A picnic. So how many tally marks are here? Seven. Seven. Well done. And five students want to go to the zoo. So how many tally marks are here? Five. Five. Well done. And finally, eight students want to watch a movie. So what is the number over here? Eight. A. The number is A. So this ch tally chart is correct. correct. Okay, question number four. Circle the word that matches the definition. Okay, everyone, listen carefully. Numbers are symbols that show information. It's not the tally marks. It's not a survey, but it's data data because everyone we use data to show information okay everyone and as i said to you before survey is when you ask um people the same question about something okay. uh, now let's revise lesson two thank you for listening and following i know you are the best and you will get uh, a full mark. Make sure that you're working so hard. Please listen to your mom and uh, also to Miss Mona. Okay, so here question number one. Students were surveyed about their favorite insect. Okay, the results are shown in the tally chart. So use the tally chart to make a picture graph. Wow, that's super easy because what we are going to do is to transfer the data from the tally chart into the picture graph but you know what we are going to draw this time I love drawing so look at the tally chart so what does the tally chart show it shows favorite insects and the insects are beetle bee and butterfly so everyone how many uh people voted for or how many students voted for beetle three so you're gonna draw here three how many people voted or sorry how many students voted for b six so you're gonna draw six bees and how many students voted for butterfly seven and what you are going to do is to draw seven butterflies. Remember, each picture stands for one vote. So everyone, you show data with a picture graph and the pictures are a symbol for the data. So question number two, everyone, ask 10 people their favorite milk. So what does a picture graph show? Favorite? milk okay here we have chocolate white and strawberry so use the data in the chart to answer the question how many people like chocolate so you're gonna count one two three four five so you're gonna write five how many people like strawberry one two three so you're gonna write three what is the least favorite milk look at the picture graph it's white milk because only two uh, people voted for white milk while one two three four five
people voted for chocolate milk okay so how many people like white and chocolate milk so what you're going to do is to add okay how many people like white so as you can see here two people and chocolate five okay so i'm going to write five so everyone what is the answer the answer is seven correct well done everyone i am so proud of you and thank you for following and listening so here we go to finish the lesson of today so everyone use the information to make a picture graph let's say fatima asked 10 people their favorite flower one said tulips the same number of people said daisies and carnations five said roses okay everyone so look at the picture graph so everyone what does uh, the picture graph show it shows favorite flower okay so let's analyze the data okay so 10 people were surveyed okay 10 so everyone uh, 10 people were surveyed okay you need to pay attention for this point okay so one said one say Talib, so we're going to write here one, okay? And then it's written here, the same number of people say daisies and carnations. So what does this mean, everyone? The number is not written, so what we're going to do? I want you to look over here, okay, or to read the question. Five say roses, so we're going to write five over here. So the total is six, right? The total is six. But here it's written 10 people and it's written here the same number of people say Jesus and Carnation. So what are, um, what is the number here and what is the number over here? So you're going to think about this. Okay. So let's say 6 plus what equal everyone 10? Let's say 6 plus, sorry, 6 plus, uh oh, so let me do it one more time so 6 plus 4 equal oh, equal 10 okay everyone equal 10 so here we're going to divide number 4 between daisies and carnation so we're going to put here 2 and here 2 so what is the total everyone so 2 plus 2 4 plus 1, 5, 5 plus 5 is or equal 10. Okay, everyone? So I know it's tricky, but you are so smart and you can do it. So everyone, finally circle the picture that matches the word. Okay, so look over here. This is a tally chart and this is a picture graph. So we're going to circle it. 